Valentine's Day, everybody. Not only that, it is also Taco Tuesday and the one year anniversary of the first ever Midnight Munchies Q&A. Yes, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the first Midnight Munchies Q&A. This year, I have two Valentine's dates, Jade and Danny. The best Valentine's dates any man could ask for. Now being that it is pretty late, and it's gonna get really weird, I'm gonna let Annie get some sleep. I don't wanna keep her up. Ready to go sleep, sleepy night night? The puppy is asleep, let's do some Q&A. Now tonight's Corona, and Crown Royal Shooter were donated from the lovely Terry Pierce. Oh my gosh! How'd you know? I don't like drink them I ever in the vlog. Know. And, and, <laughs> and Crown Royal. I might have to do a Midnight Munchies. That's what she said. So before we begin, here's the Terry Pierce. Woo! First taco! First question. Now most people drink their Coronas with the lime, but the very first Corona I ever had Guess what? With the lemon. David Bujak. What other breeds of dog have you had besides Annie? Between eight and 11 years old, we had a beautiful boxer named Ruby. Love that dog, she was such a great dog. Very unfortunate thing happened, I don't wanna ruin anyone's night or life. Opening morning deer hunting, my mom lets Ruby out to use the bathroom. Ruby wanders off into the woods. My mom hears a ruckus, she freaks out. Ruby! What's going on? Could have been coyotes, bears, pack of bears, man bear pig. There was a ruckus, Ruby disappeared. Could have been aliens. We never see Ruby again. 14 years later, my mom is now talking about getting a boxer puppy. Alex Kissinger. Hey Jake, loving the videos man. Quick question for you. What did you do on active duty? And how did you get to the guard? Did you pals chase? While on active duty, I was a crew chief on the B2 stealth bomber. <laughs> Pretty cool experience, worked around nukes. Halfway through my contract, which was a four year contract, I was eligible for the Palace Chase program, which allowed me to go from active to guard. That's what I did, transferred up to Milwaukee, back to my home state, and then the rest is history. Thank you for your service, Alex. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Charlotte Elaine. Hi Jake, my question is, what are you most excited to see or go to? when you come to Arizona. I'm excited to meet you, because you're in Arizona, I'm guessing. I've never seen the Grand Canyon in real life. The Grand Canyon, for sure. Mmm, guys, these are delicious. I hope these are making you hungry. That's that little guacamole. Oh yeah. What's up, monkey? What's up? Monkey don't talk much. Cheers, monkey. Probably a bad idea. Maddie Franco. I got this tattoo the other week, and it made me wonder, do you have any Tattoos, or are you planning on getting at any tattoos? Do you want tattoos? Well, I, 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 well, Maddie, my whole life I've wanted a tattoo, but I've been waiting for something that I truly think is worth tattooing on my body permanently. What am I gonna tattoo? Where am I gonna put it? Why am I gonna put it on myself? I can guarantee you though that throughout this journey that I'm on currently, there's gonna be something, maybe there already is something, that I find that I will find worth tattooing on my person. This guy's name is Big Beard. All right, Jake, we got a very important question. When are you coming to Texas? Love the dog, what a cutie! The number one question I get asked ever is when I will be at a certain place, at a certain place. After California will be Arizona. After Arizona will be state number five, New Mexico. After New Mexico, I'm gonna go north. Up into Colorado, it's gonna be April, probably. March, April, oh, monkey! The thing is, this road trip is gonna take a long time. But I'm trying to stop and smell the roses as much as I can. So many cool places to see, so many cool people to meet. So I'm not trying to speed things up. I'm not trying to slow things down. I'm just gonna let time do what it does and let's keep on ticking. And in the meantime, 
I'm gonna try to absorb as much as I can. Wow, that clock ticks. Thor. How sad was it when you shaved? First off, Thor, cool name. Second off, cool beard. Third off, look at this. I look like a little kid, not cool at all. You've been quiet all night, but I know you're holding back that I look like a toddler, a child. I prefer a beard. I don't care if girls think I'm more attractive without it or with it. I just like what I like on myself. Keep growing that beard, Thor. Got faith in you. You got the beard, you got the thickness. You're gonna be good. Your life will be great. I believe in you. Patreon pledge. Happy freaking Tuesday, Jay. This is Elisa Radcliffe in Ohio, and I was wondering what is the next upgrade that you're planning for Jay that you are most excited about? Tomorrow, I'd like to do a couple upgrades. A big upgrade that I'm looking forward to is the light bar installation. The light bar that I have came with mounts, but it just didn't fit right on this roof rack. So I went to Garvin Industries, which is an awesome company. You guys should check them out. They actually make light bar mounts specifically for this roof rack. That's what I end up going with, and that's what I'm gonna try to install tomorrow. Oh yeah! It's Valentine's Day, there's no love questions. Come on, you guys! Brandon. Hey Jake, have you ever thought of doing a built-in bed and storage compartment rather than using a cop? That'd be really cool maybe in the future. I'm sure in the future it'll be a different setup. The thing is, to do any kind of maintenance or upgrades to Jade just means Less time traveling and exploring. Josh Gabai. What's up, Jake? I have two questions for you. Did Annie originally freak out when she saw you without the beard? And if you could talk a little bit about your camera specs, that'd be awesome. By the time you see this video, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you will have seen how she reacted. There's no beard there. There's no beard there. Annie was licking where the beard used to be, so she was completely missing my face. She's like, what's going on? Camera specs, I got the Canon 80D. Great name choice. It has autofocus, which is cool, compared to my Rebel 3Ti, it was all manual. My only issue with this camera so far is that under low light conditions, it has a little bit of problems autofocusing. Besides that, I love everything it does. It's super crisp, it's pretty quick. And you know, I couldn't be happier besides that. So, yeah. Dane Stapley. Jake, how would you feel about a Forrest Gump type like following where we're following you while you run across the country? And after that, I got more company. And then even more people joined in. Of course, like in Forrest Gump, when they have only the runners, it would be only Jeeps allowed. Preferably Wranglers. What do you think? We all quit our jobs, sold our houses. What do we do now? I think I'll go home now. I think that would be awesome. We could have a convoy of Wranglers. Man, these Coronas are going down so good. Hopefully we get some weird questions soon here. I like the weird ones. Matt Lund. What's up, Jake? How did you figure out how to do everything on your Jeep? Like repair it, change the oil and all that stuff. Do you take a class in high school or what? I watched my dad and my brother do a lot of stuff to theirs. That's where I kind of picked it up and then everything else, I would just look on G forums or watch YouTube videos. The internet has all the knowledge you'd ever need. Or <laughs> Told you it's a horrible idea. Surprised that didn't break. Whatever. Curtis Stormberg. Happy Valentine's Day, Jay, Jake, and Annie. I want to know, what was your favorite childhood memory? Hands down, one of my favorite childhood memories was the road trip that my family and I took in 1999, where we left Wisconsin and we went to Colorado. On the way, we stopped at the Black Hills, Mount Rushmore, Pikes Peak. The only time we ever left the state of Wisconsin was to visit family in Minnesota. Actually going a lot farther away from Wisconsin, out west, that was such a cool experience for me. That trip actually inspired me to move out west and that's the biggest reason why I moved to Oregon. So hands down, that trip. Justin Harold. Hello Jake, my name is Justin from Wisconsin. And my midnight munchie question is, what made you want to join the military? Here's what was going on, Justin. I was going to college, living at my mom and my stepdad's place. Had a bunch of student loans, was bored as crap, wanted something new. I had a bunch of family members in the military. I said, you know what? I'll join the military, get free college, learn something new, you know, go to some place I've never been probably. You put all those things together, that's pretty much why I did it. Go pack go, beer, cheese, beer, burgers, beer, 
Taylor Estate. Hey Jake, this is Taylor from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I was wondering how many miles can you go before you have to fill up? I'm only getting about 13 to 15 miles a gallon in Jade, so I'm filling up like max every 200 miles. Blake L. What do you think I should name on Jake? I think you should name her Ruby. Peter De... Peter De Avignon. Hey Jake, it's Peter. I was just wondering, where do you find all of the music that you put in your vlogs? Sound... Cloud. Keaton Evans. Hey Jake, what was your favorite part of Yosemite National Park? My favorite part was the fog. The mist that would roll in. At one point, El Capitan, or Half Dome, it'd be completely covered in fog. You wouldn't even be able to see it. Within 10 minutes, all that fog would clear and you'd completely be able to see the mountain. That was so cool. Chip Percy? Hey Jake, how's it going? Have you sold Wishbone yet? Hey Chip Percy, I have not sold Wishbone yet. It's like apparently the worst time of season time of year to try to sell a sailboat. I've only had like two hits all winter. And most of them are just, they ask one question and then never respond back. So if someone wants a buyer, she's still for sale. Is that Annie? Is that Annie? What are you doing up? It's one in the morning. I hear Annie at the side door. I hear a little jingling. What are you doing, Annie? What are you doing up? Well, I guess Annie rejoined us for some of these questions. All right, Annie, we're gonna answer a question right here. Andrew Konecker. Hey Jake, just wanted to know how old you are. I'm 25, yo. Roller boy dude. Hi, I'm Levi from Subway. And uh, when are you coming to Colorado? So I can make you a sandwich. Dude, I would love a sub in Colorado, man. Schlugen. What's up, Jake? Logan from Wilmington, North Carolina here. Uh, this question is actually for Jade. My uh, 85 CJ wants to know if Jade will be her Valentine. Well. Schlugen, Logan. Jade kind of plays hard to get sometimes, but I mean, she's feeling a little frisky tonight, and I think she'll be your Valentine for your 85 CJ. Tell him yes. What just happened? Snapchat just got screwed up. I clicked one person's name, and it unhighlighted like 15 people. What is going on? You just ate a tomato. We got a question from Bob. What the heck? All right, Annie, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Annie. Oops. 